we're about to start. We've got like we got 28 seconds left. That's what it says here. Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't uh, uh I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I don't know what's going to happen. My hair's all green. Uh hair's all green. Ah. Uh, 6 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 Con congrats, your timer has expired and we're ready to do something here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm turning it up to 12, minus 12 decibels. Is it gonna start? Is it- hang on a minute, I bet you it's starting somewhere else on fucking YouTube. Micro- Microsoft press conference. Is it starting? Has it started? Is it st where where is it? Where where where, where is it? Where, where where Portal Three? <laughs> That's a joke, right? <laughs> that that can't be right. If there's Portal Three, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. <laughs> You've got me hyped now. You can't say that. Micro... What, have you given me a link to... Aha, uh -huh. but this is IGN's one. Right, we're watching this. Xbox E3 Let's briefing. just turn off that chat, shall we? There we go. Let's all make it smaller, though. Right, we're into this. Do you want me to full screen it? School full screen it? I'm here. I'm in the way. Sorry, but yeah. What are they showing off first? What are they showing off first? What is it? Is it rare? No. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a processor. <laughs> it's a processor. I thought it was the rare uh, logo they were making. Here's the War 4. Was that Middle Earth? Middle Earth. The Chief. Forza. And a hu real human being with a controller in her hand. Crackdown! That's Crackdown! That's fucking Crackdown! Is it actually coming out? Is Crackdown actually coming out? Please, please, please come out for the love of Christ. They actually showed off at like three seconds of gameplay of Crackdown 3. Ladies and gentlemen. The head of Xbox, Philip Spencer. Spencer. All right, guys, how's it going? <laughs> okay. Good afternoon to those of you with us here in person, watching on this incredible 4K screen to the millions watching us around the world or TV or online, and to those of you watching and interacting on Mixer, on behalf oh, of everyone no, no, on Team no Xbox, welcome to E3 2017. Yeah. 
when the renegade group of gamers, creators, and engineers came together to form the original Xbox team and deliver the first Xbox console, we were driven by three principles. Empower developers, delight gamers, and deliver true hardware and technical innovation. The original Xbox team lived by the mantra, there's no power greater than X. And today, we are pre proud to welcome the newest member of the Xbox family, fittingly named Xbox One, X. Xbox One X. X? X? Xbox One you can't X, put another fucking X in fucking Xbox. Ever made. <laughs> Sets a new quality oh no. standard for gamers and game creators. More X's. Starting on November 7th, Xbox One X joins the Xbox One and the Xbox One S when it launches worldwide. Xbox One X. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better than Scorpio, now, but Jesus. I'd like to introduce one of our leaders in the Xbox engineering team responsible for making the Xbox One experience great for gamers and developers. Please welcome my friend, Kareem Chowdhury, to tell you more. Who? I don't know him. Will I know him when I see his face? No. No. Thanks, Phil. It's an honor to be here at E3 and represent three years of engineering the team has done to bring you Xbox One X. From the beginning, our focus on game creators and you, the gamer, gave us three big goals we needed to hit. Power, compatibility, and craftsmanship. Let's talk power, which starts with the specs. Six teraflop GPU clocked at 1.172 gigahertz. 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and 326 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. These are impressive numbers that are more powerful than any other console on every dimension because that's what it takes to give game creators the power they need so you can experience true 4K resolution, 4K textures, and 4K assets in your living room. Yeah. And when we say true 4K, we mean 8 million pixels, high dynamic range, wide color gamut, premium sound like Dolby Atmos, and 4K UHD Blu-ray playback. Yeah. Next, compatibility. <laughs> We knew compatibility was critically important for Xbox One X, and your reaction to 360 backward compatibility has energized the team even more. So right from the start, all of your Xbox One accessories they and fucking games better. With Xbox <laughs> they One fucking X. better do. What? Why are you clapping that? That that you, you fucking better do. Me, Jesus. That wasn't good enough. We wanted more. The game library you have today will look and play even better on Xbox One X with enhanced visual fidelity, an isotropic filtering. I thought that was the point. Times. <laughs> that was the point. Even if you haven't made the jump to a 4K TV yet, we designed this product for you as well. Really? Since Xbox One X enables a technique called super sampling, the new 4K games you see on stage today will look better on your 1080p TV than anything you've seen before. But I've got a monitor. I don't have a TV. I've got and a monitor. Finally, craftsmanship. We meticulously paid attention to every detail of design as we crafted our most technically advanced console ever. It starts with the Scorpio engine. We use 16 nanometer technology to build a 360 square millimeter chip with 7 billion transistors and a 384 bit wide memory bus. This is the fastest, most advanced processor to ever power a console. Our premium design means that every millimeter and every component within the console has been architected for maximum power and efficiency. Our aspirations were so high, an industry standard approach just wasn't good enough. The Scorpio engine is so intense that for the first time ever on a console, we're using a liquid-cooled vapor chamber normally reserved for servers and high-end PC cards. 
Ooh. Fancy. An engineer on the Xbox hardware team invented a new power management system so innovative, we named it after him. The Hovis method uniquely <laughs> optimizes every okay. single Xbox One X at the system and component level to deliver... His name was Boaty McBoatface. ...and elegantly. Now, it's easy to think all this technology and capability will mean a bigger console. But again, we wanted more. We wanted more. Not only have we built the most powerful console ever, Xbox One X is the smallest Xbox ever. That's actually quite a big deal, actually. Yeah, that's quite small. It's a bit it's small. A great honor to design are you, are you compensating for something? I couldn't be more proud of our team, and I hope you love it as much as we do. Are you uncompensating now, for something? Let's see what this monster can What can it do? What are you going to show? But what are you going to show, though? World Ooh, premiere. exclusive premiere. What could it be? Is it Anthem? What is it? It's Halo 6. <laughs> uh, no, uh... Oh, it's a f is it? It's not a racing game, is it? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> is it Forza Motorsport Seven? <laughs> That's really a fucking killer. That is a new racing game. You can't do that. That's dirty play. Oof. Copyrighted music. Is it a new grid game? Is it Forza? Is it Forza or is it like grid? Oh my god, trucks! It might be a new grid game. It's Forza Motorsport 7. Fucking wow. Amazing. We need another one of those. It's him again. The guy always looks like he's fucking bored of talking about racing games. In the automotive world, supercars are debuted at international auto shows. Frankfurt, Paris. You ain't got another car, have you? But through your passion, for racing on Xbox and PC, Forza has become the premier partner to the automotive industry. So today, for the first time in history, a flagship supercar is making its world debut here at E3 in front of you. What is it? What is it? Ooh. This year, it's a Porsche. Oh yeah, they're doing Porsche. Porsche. Yeah. To bring you amazing experiences, both in game and in person. Porsche shares our vision for the future of racing and esports, and this car has never been seen outside of the guarded walls of Porsche. That honor belongs to you exclusively, ladies and gentlemen. May I present the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Another 911. Wow, it looks exactly like another 911. <laughs> I stopped playing Forza Motorsport at 4. 4. This is not only the most 4K expression of Porsche's legendary design. It features the most powerful road-going 911 engine ever made. Like the Xbox One X, it's a monster. Amazing. And with over 4.8 million active players across Xbox and Windows 10, Forza is one of the largest racing communities on the planet. You made this historic moment possible. Through your passion for racing, the digital and the real worlds are merging in an unprecedented way. So now, let's take a look at the Porsche 911 GT2 RS in Forza Motorsports 7 running on Xbox One X. 
Can I make it look like I'm in the audience? Presenters for our Forza Racing Championship eSports series. I'm Shannon McIntosh, professional race car driver and Porsche driving coach. Does that work? I'm in the audience. I'm in the audience now. Look, I'm in the audience. Professional racer and stud driver. I will be fighting to survive dynamic weather in the Nurburgring in this Nissan GTR race car. We start with Shannon in her customized driver on Dubai. Using the power of Xbox One X, Forza Motorsport 7 runs at a native 4K <laughs> oh, now, 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 fuck my green screen out. 60 frames per second. And it's fine. we have the additional power to deliver shocking levels of detail. No, no, it's not. Using it's super still, high no. resolution assets, we've recreated the intense feel of one of the greatest driving roads in the world, the Hafeet Mountain Pass. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, this does actually... This looks better than the last ones but I've played. Sport 7, we've reimagined the entire racing experience on all devices. I'm actually interested in it racing because they've got trucks in it. Ominous skies roll in as car parts rattle and vibrate. Oh, now, now the fucking green screen's going to shit. Look. Oh, no. We've made racing more epic and grand. Race through living environments featuring spectacular vistas and massive scale. Oh no, the green screen's going to you shit. See, we've made racing more dynamic and surprising. Oh no. Dynamic puddles grow as the storm unleashes its fury. Oh no. It's more thrilling. And oh no. Feel the intense heat. Oh no, it's all, it's, all, it's breaking. Everything's rattles. breaking. It's fine. No, it's not. It's, it's breaking. More beautiful and alive. Dark skies open up and change as the sun emerges from the clouds for a breathtaking finish. Racing is reborn in Forza. Whether running on the Xbox One family of consoles or Windows 10 PCs, Forza Motorsport 7 is the most technically advanced and comprehensive racing games ever made. With more than 700 cars, it features the largest collection of Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Porsches ever assembled. Today, you are the first people to see the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. And this week at E3, like me, you can be the first to drive it. So come experience the most powerful road-going 911 ever made on the Xbox One X, the most powerful console ever made in Forza Motorsport 7. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna play a ton of Forza Motorsport 7 when it ships on October 3rd. And when Xbox One X launches, we will all get to experience Forza Motorsport 7 in true 4K at 60 frames per second. Today, we're gonna showcase the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different types of games for every type of gamer. It is the largest and I believe the most diverse lineup of games that we've ever shown on our Xbox E3 stage. Games from creators large and small, games that inspire and challenge us, games that transport us to new worlds and offer us new perspectives, and games that push the boundary of our art form. Today, we will feature 42 games here on our stage, <laughs> including 22 games with console exclusivity. I'm trying to fix my lighting. <laughs> it's not working. It's not working. Every one of these games will play great on each member That's of not the worked. Xbox One family. That's not course, worked either. Look at that. Look how bad that is. It was, it was, it was all right. It was going fine and now it's broke. Uh. Up next is a game from a creative team that built their franchise on Xbox. In 2010, 4A Games worked with us to launch a single-player masterpiece that I played on Xbox 360. Now, I'm honored that, does that to look bring okay? them back that looks with okay. the premiere of their next work, running in I'm back. in true 4K. What are we watching? <laughs> World premiere. World premiere? Oh my god. Can I turn this light off?
No. We're gonna have to leave that light on. Is this a new Metro game? Is it a new Metro game? Are you- is it a new Metro game? It's a fucking new Metro game! Oh my god! Holy shit! It's gotta be, right? A new Metro game. Where's the bastard gun? Is it only coming to Xbox though? Because that would suck. Oh yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's gotta be Metro. I mean, surely, obviously. I mean, look at it. Oh my god. But this looks like, uh, this looks, this looks, this is pre-rendered. This is like, uh, this is not in real time. This is not, like, real gameplay. This is, this is, unless it's in VR, this is not the actual gameplay. Where is it set? Is it set set in the same place? Yeah. Is it more open is it open world? Oh my god, is it open world? Is it gone open world? But this isn't gameplay. This isn't real gameplay. There's no UI. It's pre-rendered. This, this looks like it might be, could be real. But there's no UI. But then again, Metro games do look absolutely amazing, so this could be what it actually looks like. Give me that back. <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing? Have you got a grappling hook? No. You got an exploding bullet. Look how scripted this is. Get on the train. No. It's a new Metro game, yeah. Metro... Exodus. Huh. Departing 2018, but is it Xbox only? That would suck if it was exclusive. What's next world now? Premiere. Another world premiere, oh my god. Actual in-game footage. Hmm, I'll believe it when I see it. Are the first. Is this Assassin's Creed? Assassin's Creed Origins. 
the first to see oh. the gods. Is it Assassin's Creed? The first to tame their beasts. Is it a new the Far Cry game? To guard the soul from evil. We conquered this land and built an empire. Is, is it Age of Empires? I, there are what is it? The wind. I know it's Assassin's Creed, it a is. Brotherhood born in the shadows. They are the first to call themselves the Assassins. This is the first of the Assassins. Like Rise, Son of Rome. Hippos! Dangerous hippos! You can climb up the pyramids. The Brotherhood begins. Oh my god! Assassin's Creed Origins. That's obviously not an Xbox exclusive. From Ubisoft, creative director Jean Gaston. Jean Gaston. Thank you. Ancient Egypt is the birthplace of modern civilization. And it is also the birthplace of the Assassin's Brotherhood. Assassin's Creed Origins is taking you to the perfect setting for an epic gaming adventure. Egypt, 3,000 years of history and mystery at the tip of your fingers. Assassin's Creed Origins is also the story of one man, Bayek. Bayek is the last Medjai, the protector of his community, an Egyptian sheriff, if you like. And he struggled against the dark forces that corrupt ancient Egypt will lead to the foundation of the Assassin's Brotherhood. But recreating ancient Egypt, going back so far in time, pushed us to rethink and expand our gameplay mechanics. We added many RPG elements to a huge systemic world, more detailed and alive than ever before. So today, we are very proud to show you what the game looks like on Xbone, Xbox One X <laughs> running in He said X-Bone. Oh, no. Now, just for you, Bayek is coming back to Siwa, his hometown, to kill the fake oracle, Medunamun. World premiere. World well, premiere. The Ubisoft logo that they changed that looks exactly the same as the it did before. Eagles. It's got like a Fallout compass, or an Elder Scrolls compass. A Skyrim compass at the top. It's Alpha apparently. Ah, they've taken this from Far Cry Primal, haven't they? Really? This temple resembles a fortress. What has happened? Get out of my way. Ah. 
There you are, Medunamon. The next masked one on my list. But he doesn't have a mask. Now it is my turn to tip the balance of Anubis. I can climb things that shouldn't be physically possible to climb. Well, they brought the trees back. Oh my god, you can do fucking Horizon Zero Dawn jump and shoot longbow at slow motion. Better be careful here. I should go drop these trees. Let, let us stand thicker. It says Alpha. Alpha there. Ah, uh, a fine bow. Oh look. More RPG loot stuff. You can have two bows equipped at once. Level six, it's got like actual loot. It's like prop it's like fucking Diablo. What the hell? Everything must have a level now. It is too dangerous. We'll pass for now. Guide me, Senu. Betunamun. Whoa, holy shit, look at the gameplay. It's got fucking sword and shield. It's like fucking Dark Souls. Oh my god. It's like fucking Dark Souls. Everything's turning into Dark Souls. <laughs> oh my god, there's first person bow. And you can control the bow like like in Bullet Storm. Like that Bullet Storm gun. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, the combat, the actual melee combat has actually changed a lot. Ooh. Ooh, fancy. At Xbox, we've always believed in the power of games to unite us all. Today, communities of gamers not only play together, they create together and watch together. A whole new genre of games has emerged designed for both the player and the community. And with Mixer, we're innovating new features to make these experiences even What better. is Mixer? This one's special. It's a next generation of, of live game streaming. Genre, here is one that the world is having as much fun watching as they are playing. And I can tell you that includes many of us at Team Xbox. The creative director of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is no. a gamer turned developer who designed this game together with a passionate community. Please welcome Player Unknown himself, Brendan Green. Uh, now, I know nothing about this. I know nothing about these types of games at all. Thanks, Phil. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a multiplayer battle royale where you must fight against a hundred other players to be the last one standing. And then you do Our it all over again. to bring the most complete battle royale experience ever to console and deliver a great experience across all Xbox One devices. So why are you putting it on Our the Xbox then? It's truly community driven. 
and we owe much of our success to everyone who's given us feedback over the past year. With over 3 million PC players to date, we can't wait to bring Player Unknown's Battlegrounds exclusively to Xbox One later this year with mm. an update for Xbox One X enhancements shipping. It's quite a the big deal. Version. These games are the big right now. Everyone. Exclusive. Th these games are big right now, so it's quite a big deal for them to get this first. It's exclusive for a time being. It'll probably come out on PS4 at some other point. I have never. I've, I've actually watched one person play this. I watched Dodger play it. It looked kind of fun, I guess. I don't know. But I, I never played it, so I don't. I, I know nothing about it really. It does actually look quite good. I like, I like, look at that, I like that. <laughs> but you can tell it's still in very early access. It's still very early. <laughs> oh my god, look at that jump. What are those explosions happening at the same time? Why didn't he shoot him? Why did he just let him run up to him? <laughs> I would have gone and killed him instantly. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the fucking frying pan. What's next? Exclusive. Exclusive console launch. What's this? What the hell is this? The no heroics. I haven't seen this before. Is this on Steam? Early access? I don't know. Aliens, Colonial Marines. Fucking hell. <laughs> Deep Rock Galactic. Danger, Darkness, Dwarves. Fucking Dwarves. Are they Dwarves? Oh my god. I've got to play it then if it's Dwarves. Oh, they just keep popping them out. They keep popping them out. What's this? Is this State of the K2? What would you do if the world you knew was gone? I'd be fucked. All the comforts, the simple pleasures you took for granted. I'd be fucked. How would you protect yourself? I've already you answered the question. <laughs> when the protectors can't even save themselves. State of the K2. I love State of the K1. I thought it was fucking amazing. But it was so rough around the edges. So I'm hoping this one's a lot more polished. Come on. I, 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 I can tell those running animations from a mile away. It's, of course it's State of the K. <laughs> Where's the UI? Why is there no UI? Oh, 
Oh my god, look at that fat one. Oh my god. How will you decide who belongs? Thanks. I owe you. How will you choose a place to call home? I'm looking forward to this. I, li I like this. I like survival. Survival horror-esque games. I like. I'm like. I'm liking this. Work together to defend it. From I'm probably. I'm probably gonna love this unless it's completely broken. Just outside the walls. Oh my god! Look at that one. Got no arms. When you get hungry. Cold. What risks will you take? I'll kill everyone. What mistakes will you make? And the only family you've got is about to tear itself apart. Will you end the life? No. Or save it? Oh, you can this, save people's lives. Only one, but we need everybody we've got. <laughs> you can still open the doors. I like that. I, I remember that. It's a bloater. Explodey one. There's the big one. It's a tank. He's got no guns. He's got no ammo. No! too deep and realize no one gets a second chance. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! <laughs> he just exploded! How will you find the strength to carry on? This world of the living and the dead. How will you survive? Spring two thousand eighteen. Exclusive. Yeah, there's another one. There's another one. They just keep boom, boom, boom. Oh, is this what? Is this Sea of Thieves now? What is this? What is this? Oh, is this that eight-player, eight-player online game that's on PC? But it's actually only four players. It's not the long dark, no. Oh my god, you've got abilities! Two players remaining. Oh, it's a game! Oh dear. One player remaining. What the, the fuck? Arena. Don't do this. No. What the fuck is this? It's a MOBA. It's a Paladins. It's, a, it's an Overwatch. Oh no, what have you done? <laughs> no, stop it. Stop it. Stop. Please. <laughs> Somebody from Mixer decided to chime in that invulnerability bubble's gonna help him out and put on the fight with life. There we go, the nice strike on Bloody Barrel, bouncing it up far, and there we go. Oh, that was gonna do the damage and the arrow to the belly. That's gonna be the win for Bloody Barrel. Bloody Barrel wins the round. 
What is that? The Darwin Project. Wow. Okay. Never heard of that. That's completely new to me. Oh, yeah. Fucking Minecraft in the house. Minecraft. I can't wait. I've just, I've, I've recently just got back into Minecraft and I had an amazing time, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh dear. Crossplay? Oh. On, on, on Switch, on all your stuff, on everything, unifying Minecraft, but not PS4 though. Please welcome from Mo Yang. Oh no! Director Lydia Winters. Who is it? Who's this? Oh, it's not. Is this her? Oh, not her. Not her. This summer, not her. Of not her. Anything but her. Device of their choice. <laughs> For the first time, Xbox Live will unite the global Minecraft community across mobile, VR, Windows 10 PCs, and consoles. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! As part of this effort, we're excited to welcome player-made skins, maps, textures, and massive community-run servers. Which is all free on PC. Itself. Because we know that the amazing content you create makes Minecraft even better. It's all free on PC, this though. Fall, Minecraft will receive a free 4K update that brings more graphical options to the game. But we didn't stop there. With all this talk about graphics, <laughs> we're taking things one step further. Today, we're revealing a new look for Minecraft Ooh. that we're super duper excited for you to try out. Oh, I can't wait. One that's inspired by the power of Xbox One X and available this fall. Let's check it out. I can't wait. Coming soon, this fall. It's an EMB for Minecraft. <laughs> Super duper graphics pack. Wow. <laughs> it's the ear. It's the fucking. This is. We've had this on PC for fucking years. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. It looks nice, yeah. It, look, it makes it look like it does. It makes it look like not like Minecraft, which makes me want to play it. But then I realise it's Minecraft, and I don't want to play it. <laughs> Super duper graphics pack, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's next? Minecraft in 4K. When the Minecraft team showed me the first version of the game in 4K, I was blown away. Moyang so was I. So a was I. That started something new and different that led to a global phenomenon. At Xbox, we're searching for games that are fresh, new, and in some cases familiar. That means ensuring that the biggest third-party franchises you want to play are there for you on Xbox One. Of course, you'll find these great games in the Xbox Store available for pre-order today don't pre-order don't pre-order it no don't please but please the biggest blockbuster franchise is just one part of the job it's all sports Delivering games broad diverse and new games to xbox means searching to find unique games from creators around the world that will surprise and delight to me these next few games do just that starting with the game i got to play on a recent trip to japan it's hilarious, a little crazy, and a whole lot of fun. Let's take a look at it. What is it? Do we know what it world is? Premiere. It's a world premiere. We haven't seen it before. What is it? Oh, it's a... It's a... It's a... Uh... 
Right? It's Naruto, right? That's what it's called. <laughs> Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z then Dragon Ball. That one. That one. See, I don't know any of this. Oh, it's a, it's a 2D fighter. Okay. I have absolutely no interest in this at all. Mainly because I can't play them because I'm shit at them. Free versus free? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I can't even tell what the fuck's happening. Big hair. Big hair. Big straight up hair. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I have I have no interest in that. Early 2018, okay. So that's not till next year. What's next? Exclusive. Ooh, another exclusive console launch. Exclusive. Is this what is this? Pearl Abyss? Who's that? Is this Sea of Thieves? What's this? Is this Assassin's Creed Origins again? <laughs> it looks like The Witcher 3. Is it some sort of strategy game? Like Age of Empires or something like that? Well, he's a big man. Oh, it's um, it's an MMO, isn't it? Is it is it that thing that's just come out on Steam? Yeah, but a black desert, yeah. Black desert online, yeah. I think that's what it is. It looks it looks cool. I like the look of it. Yeah, the MMORPG Black Desert. It's coming to Xbox first. Before PS4, okay. Exclusive. Another exclusive console launch. It's fucking Paris. What the fuck's happening in Paris? An Odd Tales game. I don't know who they are. Is this out on? Is this out on Steam as well? Probably. Is it Dead Cells? <laughs> it's Hotline Miami 3. Oh my god, it's got flying cars. Is it a Shadowrun game? Is it a Back to the Future game? <laughs> Exclusive. I don't know what that was it was it I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Another exclusive console launch. Oh my god.
What's this? <laughs> Copyrighted music. Oh my god, this is the game for me! This is the game for me! It's like Rayman Legends! With the guitars! Oh yeah! But what do you do in it, though? The artful escape. Coming when it's damn ready. <laughs> Coming when it's damn fucking ready. Stop fucking asking us for fuck's sake. What's this? Is this like another... Is this... Is this that Bandai Namkai game? No, it isn't, is it? She's got a musket. Code Vein, coming 2018. It's that Ban Bando Namkai game, yeah. It's going to be a bit like Dark Souls. In the in the Scouring you know the in the fact that it's really hard. Creative artists and development teams, and I'm often surprised and humbled by their work. Whether it's a story that can only be born of a different land, or artistic design and storytelling that, in a single moment, can capture your imagination and inspire. There is much to be learned by looking beyond borders. Our first party is also a place of innovation and creativity. Today, I'm excited to share with you an extended look at never-before-seen gameplay from Rare's shared world adventure, Ooh. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Here you go, Jax. Exclusive. That's what you're excited for, Jax. I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. joy of a new voyage far across the Sea of Thieves. Just you, the wide open world, and oh, well, it's not just you, she's here too. Oh, and this guy's here. But, but, but the point is, this is a shared world, ripe for exploring and raiding with your fine pirate crew. Look at them, scurrying around, making themselves useful. That's what we like to see. The world of Sea of Thieves seethes with possibilities, with adventures skulking above and below the waves. All you have to do is jump in and up. Oh, there she goes. Few things tempt a pirate like the siren song of a lootable shipwreck. Careful though, there could be anything down there. Literally, there could be anything. We haven't finished designing it yet. Joking, that was a joke. Ah, sunken treasure. It's like a pirate performance bonus. How can they hold their breath for this long? Every player's decisions and discoveries will be different. But however you plan on seeking your fortune, it pays to be prepared. For gigantic lumps of iron, these are surprisingly portable. <laughs> Amazing workmanship. Anyway, better get them back on board while the coast is clear. There's really no sense in pushing your luck down here. That is not a beast you want to pick a fight with. Yes, it's possible to take on these toothy terrors of the deep, but you're not much used to your crew bitten in two. Sometimes a tactical retreat is perfectly acceptable, in the spirit of that legendary pirate captain, Pathetic Dave. Ooh. 
thankfully, for every tense standoff, there's a moment of celebration or shared wonder. But for now, stow your hard-earned loot and enjoy the voyage. On Devil's Ridge beneath the sands, the gold lies hidden from thieving hands. Oh, well, that's typical. Oh, look! Here we are at Devil's Ridge. Nice transition, by the way. <laughs> and so you'll shift from the heart of the sea to the island shore, where you'll explore jungles and coves, cliff tops and caverns. Every region has its very own landmarks, and over time, you'll uncover hidden shortcuts, abandoned don't, stashes, don't cut away and from it. will steal your grog-soaked breath away. And yes, sometimes you'll encounter people who, for whatever reason, would like to blow you into little pieces. That's pirating for you. Keep that pistol primed, because you'll also face the roaming remains of those raiders who came before you, cut short in pursuit of their own legends. An afterlife of fighting and troublemaking until all your bits fall off. It's what they would have wanted. Bananas! Sure Bananas! Part to play. Bananas! Oh my god! <laughs> That works. And look, he brought the riddle map. Seek the cursed boar shrine where there is no sky. It lies in wait for a light held high. Hmm. Right, well, that's got to be around here somewhere. But if you've got a bad feeling, you can always leave someone on board to brace the ship for a speedy getaway. Decisions, decisions. Ah, looks like they've sniffed out that place where there is no sky. Time to pull your resources as you plunge into the unknown. It would be easy to come a cropper in these claustrophobic caves. You don't want to wander off track. Unless, of course, you're streaming. And you'll have loads of people in the chat telling you what to do anyway. <laughs> That's you, Jax. That's you. It's nothing. Just kids. Of course, the Premier Plunder isn't just lying around to be claimed by any old drunken bumbler. You'll need to watch out for likely locations, following your map, clues, and your instincts to make light work of each new mystery. Light work. Little lantern joke there. You're welcome. Anyway, step 11 paces northwest through the gloom. Dig my chest from its tomb. Hmm. And with that, we're one step closer to payday. Then again, some of the loot in these parts has lain undisturbed for a long, long time. That has to be the spot. You can practically taste the treasure. Good call on the double duty shovel work too. That storm outside was nipping at your heels. Ah, very nice. Of course, the trouble with treasure as a rule is that the owners really like to hang on to it. If you've got your hands full, it's up to your crew to watch your back. And while they're doing that, it's time for another strategic withdrawal with the loot. Nope, not that way. That's it. Easy now. Don't stop, keep going. Almost there. Watch that next step, it's a doozy. regularly beat the odds and get chess back to your ship, you'll be able to turn a tidy profit by trading them in at an outpost. That's just the tiny matter of making it through this storm in one piece.
<laughs> That's ridiculous. That'll never work. Well, that was way better than when they showed it off with all those, like, fake Let's Players. That was way better. That was really exclusive. good. Another excuse, exclusive launch, console launch. Oh, I've, I've seen this already before. Tacamore? August the 2nd. That's out soon. You know, that's out in like two months' time. Exclusive. World premiere. World premiere. Is it Crackdown? Is it fucking Conquer? What is it? No, it's not Conquer. Oh, it's this shit. It's this shit from the HTC Five. Or is it, what is it? It's always a book. You've always got to jump into a book. This is that game that's on HCC Vive, right? It's gotta be. Is it gonna be as good as Ukulele, though? Fucking crocodile with a top hat. Super Lucky's Tale. That that was on that was on HCC Vive, but this looks like a sequel to it. Another world premiere. Exclusive. Uh, uh, exclusive. Console exclusive. Oh, is this the fucking um oh the cup's head? Is this cup's head? You know, cuphead. Been waiting for this game for fucking years. It's Cuphead, finally. I want to play this badly. 
When's it out? Tell us when it's September 29th. It's coming out this year. Oh. What's next? What's next? Exclusive. Is it Crackdown Free? Is it Crackdown Free? Is it Crackdown Free? Assume a digital production. It's Crackdown Fucking Free! Fucking starring Terry Crews! Oh my god! We're gonna light it back up because this is far. What have they done? I don't know if this is amazing or a terrible thing. That's why we brought in you. You got the talent. Now you need the tech. Today you throw grenades. Tomorrow you'll be throwing cars. Forget dropping bombs. You drop it. <laughs> Show us the game. To get to work. <laughs> Time to step up your Show us the game. Oh yeah. Welcome to the agency. Here we go. This is it, the actual gameplay. Oh, you got dashes now. You got your agility orbs. It better be bloody good. Looks like Saints Row. Thanks for the copyrighted music, you fuckers. Oh, robots. Flying cars. November 7th comes out this year. Holy shit. It's actually coming out this year. November 7th. I think that's... I think we're getting close to the end of the uh, conference. This is the indie stuff. Osiris, that's on Steam. It's early access. Raiders, we played that. That was pretty good. We like that. Um, that's fucking Rayman. Unruly Heroes. Look at that. That's fucking Rayman. Path of Exile. Battle Right. Surviving Mars. That's on Steam as well. Fable Fortune. Observer. Oh, that's a bit creepy. Robocraft, is it finally coming out? Or is it a new one? Oh god, a basketball game. An arcade one, no. Brawl out. You'll like that, Jax, won't you? Dark and light. Oh my god, look at that. That looks amazing. Strange Brigade. That looks awesome. Hello, neighbor. Shift. Conan. Conan. Exiles. That was... That, that, there was a load of amazing looking stuff there. At Xbox, it's not just about finding creative artists. It's about empowering them and nurturing them, helping shine a light on their work, making it easy for them to build and share their creations. That's why the ID at Xbox program is so important to us. 
the team has released over 500 games on Xbox One and Windows 10 through the ID at Xbox program. And this is not just a milestone for the program and the independent developer community. It's a milestone for everyone who loves great games. I hope you're reminded today why it's so great to be a gamer on Xbox. Action, adventure, story, skill, surprise. These next few games bring it all together. Let's start with a game whose stylistic approach alone makes it something very special. What's this? Exclusive. Exclusive console launch? Hmm. What's this? The dark is older than the light. At last a day dawned, and we rose with this first light. It's Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> but that light was a betrayal, only fleeting. In its wake, the night. Oh, it's that. It's, it's, it's that game with they got no faces. You remember that game they showed off like ages ago, where they had no faces. At the light times the light rose again, faint and vulnerable. This rebirth will end our wandering. Oh my god. You, why have you wakened me? Ashen, that's what it was called. Well, we've got no fucking idea what that game is actually going to be like to play. <laughs> World premiere. World, oh, another world premiere. Holy shit. Square Enix. Is it Life is Strange? It's Life is Strange 2. You shouldn't smoke, kids. No smoking. No smoking. Bad. I feel numb. Bad for you. I feel numb in this kingdom. I feel numb. I feel numb in this kingdom. This life is strange too, right? It's gotta be, right? Oh my god. Fucking hell. Is it the prequel? Life is Strange broke the storm. Yeah, it's the prequel thing. Please welcome, from Monolith Productions, Vice President of Creative, Michael DePlatter. Is this that, um, oh yeah, Shadow of War, which I don't really care that much about. But you tried to humiliate me. You left your mark on me, but it didn't work. You burned my mind. Ah, I'll kill you. You want cards, human? Buy cards from me. I don't care about this game at all. I'm sorry. I didn't like the last one very much. I thought it was so 
dull and boring. I've had enough of your mouth, bruise. So now I'm gonna kill you. For all these orcs. Alright, mate, how's it going? I'm gonna have a drink of water, I am. It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, Yeah, alright, I'll have a go. I might have to buy it just for the voices though. Fucking hell, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. I like him. Bruce killed the boss. Come on, lads. In Shadow of Mordor, we introduced a way to create unique personal stories for every player. And in Shadow of War, we're expanding the Nemesis system. Two new features we're really excited about are forging an army of followers and nemesis fortresses. Here, we'll use the Ring of Power and recruit this Olog, Brewster Chopper, to expand our army. Then, we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Good for a tickle, maybe, but you're gonna need more than that to take me down. Nice one, Ranger. I don't know why they need to show off a load of gameplay of this already. They've shown they've shown a load already. Why do they need to see a load more? It looks exactly the same as the last one. I don't know why they're dedicating so much time to it. <laughs> it results me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain. And deadly smart, which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron, and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I love the dialogue. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. That was amazing. So we already have a few loyal followers in our army. And recruiting Bruce means we're ready to assault the fortress and overthrow the Overlord. Bruce, 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 Bruce. We're enormously expanding the open world of Mordor. To hey, you bloody, you like better do. And Kirith Ungle. Mordor's a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, and wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! So we've just been ambushed by the machine. He's tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. No. He's Get over here. Oh, this machine will grind you to paste. I hate big things. He's going to kill ya. Oh, God. No, no, he didn't. Assault. You take out the overlord, 
But before we charge headfirst into battle, we should plan our attack and select our followers. Why are they spending so much time on this? I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Level 89? Jesus Christ. They, they have um, upped the battles, haven't they? Jesus, just a bit. on the defenders to find focus and that's where they end in it unlimited ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor in shadow of war and we can't wait to show you more this week at E3 thank you very much I like Bruce. Exclusive. Oh, another world exclusive premiere. world premiere. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. How many have you got? Ooh. Oh, piano. It's serious. It's serious, this is. Is this a sequel to that other game? Oh my god, it's a giant toad! With eyebrows! Is this like a sequel to Ori in the Blind Forest, or is it like another version of it? A different type, a spiritual success successor? The owl. I remember the owl from it. Don't walk out. You get electrocuted. No. Oh my god! Look at that. It's Ori. In the, it is Ori in the Blind Forest too, isn't it? Something like that. I'm sad. Why am I sad? Why am I feeling feelings? Ori and the Blind Forest 2. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. It's just Ori. Ori is the thing. I've never played it, but apparently it makes your heart, your heart throb. Ori affirms my belief in the beauty, artistry, and heart within the art of gaming. We believe that games like books, movies, and music, should be celebrated and enjoyed by countless generations. We're passionate about preserving and celebrating the games you own, the classics of the past, and the genres you love to play. That's why two years ago, we launched the Xbox Backward Compatibility Program to bring Xbox 360 games to your Xbox One and we've seen tremendous growth in the program. Today, our library of games stands at 385 titles, and over half of Xbox One gamers have played a backward compatible game. But I've heard your feedback, and you want more. 
Today, I'm pleased to announce an exciting expansion to the program. Oh, Xbox, Xbox, Xbox One, the original Xbox. engineers are working hard to bring us some of your favorite original Xbox game to today's Xbox One library, <laughs> including <laughs> a fan favorite that I'm asked about often by the community, Crimson Skies. Mm. And it looks great. And like the Xbox 360 games, OG games will look better and play better across the Xbox One family. We'll have more to share about this program when it launches later this year. I'm proud of the library of games available today on Xbox One. All of them will benefit from the performance and power when you play them on Xbox One X. But we won't stop there. I'm excited to announce that if you own Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Killer Instinct, Halo Wars 2, or Minecraft, we'll pre be providing 4K updates to these titles for free. You bloody hope so, right? And we already have over 30 titles from our third-party partners that are planning to provide free updates as part of our Xbox One X Enhanced program. Titles like Final Fantasy 15. Resident Evil 7, Tom Clancy's Ghost Boo. Recon Wildlands, <laughs> and Rocket League, just to name a few. This means you probably already have a large library of titles that you own today that will automatically get better on Xbox One X. Today, we showcase some of the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different types of games for every type of gamer. We showed you the largest and most diverse lineup of new games that have ever appeared on our stage. From every corner of the globe, from developers large and small, 42 games, including 22 with console exclusivity on Xbox One. And you're also going to be able to play all of the biggest cross-platform blockbusters on Xbox One. And every game will play great across the Xbox One family. And on Xbox One X, runs every single game you've seen even better. Well, yeah, that's the point, right? So if you haven't joined the Xbox One family, now's the time. This week, you'll find Xbox One S available in the US for $249. And on November 7th, we'll begin worldwide rollout of Xbox One X, the world's most powerful console at 499. 499. Be the first to experience unrivaled power and performance. How much in pounds, on the Xbox though? One. We close today's show by looking to the future with a really great partner. They've been with us from the earliest days of Project Scorpio and they're building an incredible game that takes advantage of the power and performance of the Xbox One family and the new Xbox One X. Please welcome Patrick Sutherland, Executive Vice President, EA Worldwide Studios. Okay. It's this guy again. Hello. New IP is the lifeblood of our industry. You can tell he fucking it's hates doing risky. this. At EA, we have teams dreaming up a lot of projects, and only the greatest will make it their way to you. And that's okay. It's all a part of the creative process. And it's worth it, because when you find something special, there's no better feeling as a developer than introducing players to a brand new world. And as a player, there's no better feeling than losing yourself in a completely new experience. Our developers at Bioware have been creating something truly special. 
a huge open world that is lush, savage, mysterious, and ever-changing. Filled with interesting characters and new types of gameplay, you'll enjoy with your friends for years to come. Really? This is what's possible when we take an extraordinary vision and combine it with the latest technologies and hardware. Amazing concepts become possible. Great ideas become reality. So here we are, and we are so excited to share this with all of you. On behalf of the team at Bioware, let's see what this game looks like running on an Xbox One X. Here's John Warner from Bioware to show you Anthem. Right, Anthem. They showed it off um, uh, yesterday. They said they'd, they'd show it here. Hi, I'm John Warner, game director for Anthem. Here is the world premiere of Anthem's gameplay. Listen, there's trouble. Big trouble. What did you do? <sighs> I made a mistake. I hired some people. They weren't freelancers. I know. They said they could handle it, and the price was right. I thought maybe. Unbelievable. You're right. It was stupid. I'm sorry. But they're still out there, somewhere. If you could just bring them back, anything you need. In the world of Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers, the heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown and protect humanity. So it's basically Let's destiny, players then. players as they head out on an expedition. Hey, Paul. You ready to go? We're just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades. Is it third or first person? He looks like the Master Chief. Not Master Chief, but Halo, you know. Every Holy player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. These suits give players superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. Good. Me nice. big strong man. Equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. You lead the way, I'll follow. Oh my god, it's like that game that Nolan North voice acted in. A little bit. Oh my god, that gets flying. It's I, I, oh my god. It's like Jurassic Park, but it's this like is a vast Halo. World you explore with your friends. And Mass Each Effect and Exosuit has its own Destiny. Play style. The Ranger is balanced in all purpose, while the Colossus is a tanking powerhouse. Alright. Let's see what's up here. Can you go into first person as well? That'd be cool. If you change back and forth. The world of Anthem is hostile and threats can come from any direction. This dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. <laughs> Bye, see you later, shit lords. I'll go low. You flank. Oh my god, you can go on the water. Holy shit. Looks like Mass Effect, you know, type gameplay. Is he melee? He, there's a melee class as well. I haven't. We should do that later with Kim. Yeah, he could use the XP. Hello, treasure. 
They're doing this fake over voice IP thing. Voice, voice over IP? Is that what it's called? I like the, the fact that you can just start flying. That's cool. I, think we got some action I like that. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Oh, there are a lot of scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Have time to use that mortar. Is that is that um uh, Troy Baker. Sounds like Troy Baker, Paul. A little bit. It probably isn't. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. Ooh, look at that. Scale world events like Shaper Storms are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. And loot. All the loot. Oh, Shaper Storm incoming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Kim hey, is here. Up? Hey, what's happening? Sandra is here. Right behind you. We are the Power Rangers. Whoa. This storm is getting crazy. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. Oh my god, look at that. That looks amazing. See you on the other side. Story is out there. Ooh. I love, I love that. Just the ability to just jump up and fly anywhere immediately. Now what? There's more. Was that the end of it? Now. That's that's the ending. Yeah. It's the ending credits, as you'd like to say. As I'd like to say. I'm coming for you. Is that it? Is that just where they're gonna end it? No talking, just end? Yeah. Alright, so that was the uh Microsoft Xbox E free conference. And I've gotta say, that's gonna be hard to beat. That was that was really fucking good. That was real good. That was really, really, really good. Like, you could probably see, but I had a smile on my face for a lot of that. That was, that was good. That was good. Uh, just, just, over and over again. More, 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 more. It was amazing. It was really good. I, I, I can't wait to see how Sony, you know, compares to that. I don't know what Sony 
strategy is, you know, PlayStation's strategy is when it comes to an E3 conference compared to Microsoft. But that was really, 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 really good. So that's it. That was me reacting to the Xbox E3 conference for 2017. I apologize about the lighting. It was fine at the beginning. It was all right at the beginning. And then the light outside went away, which fucked with it completely. And so I had to just do it like this. But at least you can see my reactions, my face reactions. Uh, if I do do any more of the conferences, I'll make sure, and I can't promise this, but I'll make sure to get it the lighting better for the green screen. So, thank you for watching. I this made me feel happy. This made me feel really happy. I really like that. I was just that's just made me feel really happy about games. Yeah.